Não for the time I'm going to see Spanish lane Mexico falls And I'm wanting The hope the sun Doesn't break Promises are made In a mission A vision in the white Spanish lane Spanish lake Mexico falls And I'm wanting The hope the sun Doesn't break Promises are made In a mission A vision in the white Spanish lake In the same day that I was made My mother loves to tell me all about that And her midwife, Miss Goodall well, I was raised on the buffalo gloves I said, can't hear us. my feet all proud and tough 
Because we can do this. Oh. You don't want to? Right. What? Work all day. You just ran away from me. Dogs, we get home and chill. Let's out our thoughts. For porch picking, won't be paid to. By the summer night light of the moon. Oh, mama. I'm going outside for Seattle. The shoes. The shoes. Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, do you want your hair out? Okay. No. Okay. Don't trip on that, please. Thank you. Good job. They can't hear us, so we're just miming and pantomiming tonight. So is it is so no sound is going through either board at all. So we're not getting recording. We're not recording sound either. Okay. Well, if we had audio, we would be telling you all about how it's all fucked up, man. TVC TV may be off the air in six months. Because we build it on the floor of the house right now for. I meet my mother who has met her yeah, you can probably take the call now thing off. <laughs> They're probably calling to tell us they can't hear us. Hello? No, they hung up. You can't hear us on. You're not going to be able to hear us. I'd have to... Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thanks for calling. Okay. You can take... No, because they can't hear us, buddy, so they're... They're not... Because they can't hear us. And if they can't hear us, they can't talk to us. They can't Okay, hang up. I'll read the news. It always reads. Yes. The doubt is God. Can't answer it. Don't pick it up. Hello. You can't hear us, can you? Yeah, we know. We're working on it. Why are you laughing at us? That's gone. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, but they they can't hear us anyway, so. So we're having a private conversation right now till it goes on YouTube. <laughs> so how are you tonight? If it's recording. Right. Well, normally you would be able to hear us. Normally there is music to go along with the video and the floating head. And uh, normally we're talking to people on the phone about whatever might happen, be, happen to be on your mind. Unfortunately, tonight we have no audio. So, tonight it is about uh, tripping on the background. <laughs> Why'd you say the floating head? <laughs> what? Okay. 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 Bye. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks for calling. <laughs> Why did you say the floating head? Because they they were laughing because you're floating. Ah! This is um problematic sitting on top of here. I should probably just pretend like I'm talking to people and like just like stand here looking like I think everything's normal. 
I don't know what your problem is. <laughs> Well, where is it not plugged in? It's, no. Yeah, it's all about me just standing and cleaning my hand. <laughs> Well, I'm just watching What? I know the No, we didn't forget, buddy. No, we okay. No, I just don't. I don't know how to do this, bud. And I'm really, really frustrated that people access people do not concern themselves more with the other producers who use the equipment in the studio. I wasn't gonna go there, but I hear ya. I know. This is supposed to be a community. We try to put everything away. Oh, you Oh, and really that's not even fair to like Patrick and Alex because they worked their asses off to make this place work. But the things that they ask other producers to do, they don't get done. And yeah, they got And I'm not uh, saying we're perfect by any means because we do it too, but... Well, I don't know what we do. I'm kind of cranky at the moment. <laughs> Here, why don't you try and figure this out and I'll set that up. <laughs> okay. See, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, it, you found that. Is that wired? I mean, this is the this is Gonzalez, two away, stand up. You gonna like this one? Just cruise with me, boy. See, let's get it. Too wet, boy. And I will say there's an individual whose job this is who I don't hold in the same regard as Patrick and Alex. Please, I'd rather be Summertime, no further time, boy, see And the fellow nobody stays home Would you be enjoying what we're from? From what you do like Bobby to the drink and blue Calling my 
Summertime in Idaho Be your YSE Summertime in Idaho Cruising through the city Looking kind of pretty Everybody tell me to always Summertime, no fun time Boy, see me rolling through the city of trees Kiss me in my face there's no place I'd rather be Summertime, no fun time in Boise I know where I'm from, but I don't know about you I know where I'm from, but I don't know about you I know where I'm from, but I don't know about you I know where I'm from, but I don't know about you by everything at the moment. Promises are made in a mission A vision in white Spanish lady Mexico calls and I'm a woman The fault of soft doesn't burn Did you pop your green thing? Did you pop your green thing? Oh, okay. Well, maybe I do. Oh, okay. I will. And I think who stole it in the world, yeah. Hit the trail of the sea, but time right. the crowd, they would play. Hello, you probably still can't hear us. Hi, Hi. you still can't hear us. Huh? 
Yeah. <laughs> we are working on that. What? Oh, he wants to be able to <laughs> He's trying to hear you too. If he can be a part of the thing, just one second. Passion. Yeah, we're having a little trouble with the audio and some um, other situations in there that they're not going to be able to No, it's not your TV. Sorry. Didn't mean to scare ya. Maybe we should put that on the thing. Huh? <laughs> hey, Mr. Wizard? Mr. Wizard? I gotta get my dresses because it's like a madhouse in here tonight. It's crazy. <laughs> you can't see it. All going on back there. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Uh, well, I have no conversation. I don't know. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff, when you have a minute, could you tell them that we're having technical difficulties? It's not their TV. It's their, their thing. It's their TV. Like people out there thinking it's their audio. I don't mean to interrupt you or anything, but... Um, Oh, oh, well, I don't know who Ron Paul is either. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Wizard. <laughs> yeah. So, we're working on it. Hopefully, we'll have sound before the end of the show, because you're missing all the music. Right? You haven't heard this one before? Well, I know you can't hear it, but like Papa Joe's song, Summertime and Boise, everybody remembers that one. Right. <laughs> no. Okay, well then maybe it's brand new and you're missing it. I'm so sad. <laughs> but there is it. <laughs> well, he's working on it. M number two thirty two. Let's everybody try and see the two thirty two in our song book. Yeah. Yeah, that works. I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Uh, was that all you were wondering? Okay. Well, thanks for calling, and hopefully we'll have audio, and then you can call back, and we can talk to you properly. That would be great. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Let's, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Okay. That's me, sir. I am. Um, I did have tea. What did I do after yesterday? <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. It's all good. So we're just going to chill for a little while. Oh. Hello? Hi. 
Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> well, you are trying to watch this, and you're getting no sound, right? Yeah, it's a bummer. This is Brian? Yeah. <laughs> what is on Tuesday? Your birthday. Wow. So you're going to be, what, 13? 14? 14. I know you know. 13? Oh. I guess I, w I didn't, well, I wasn't guessing because I thought you turned 12 last year, right? Yeah. Cool. Well, what are you going to do for your birthday? The Delta calls my name too soon. I try to listen for the mail on the radio. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. The audio is on. You're getting an MP3 player? Oh. I'm so sorry. Like, people are talking to me in here. I'm having a very di difficult time, like, focusing on it. So, like, with all this stuff that's going on that you can't see right now. <laughs> so you said, because dude was talking to me, so you said, I heard $50, I heard MP3 player, iPod, and I didn't hear the stuff that was in between that. So, clarify for me. Oh, you, oh, you got earbuds? Okay. Cool. So, hundred bucks, uh, MP3 player, an iPod, and, uh, and earbuds. Nice. Nice. Two Xbox 360 games. Which ones? Awesome. Which one wars? World at War. The Delta takes to shine from my shoes. This one? Not this one. No, that's uh, Modern Warfare 3. I haven't heard of World, World, World at War, Call of Duty World at War. Is that like a, what is that? Is that like a, hey dude, go ahead. Are you familiar with Call of Duty World at War? I, but you know what he's talking about? Yes. This is Brian. He got um. He, his birthday is on Tuesday. He turned 13. He turns 13, and um. He got he got Call of Duty World at War, uh, Halo 3, an MP3 player, an iPod, earbuds, and 100 bucks. Well, he's getting 100. He's getting the other 50 on Tuesday. He got 50 bucks yesterday. Yeah, score. <laughs> you want to come in? Thank you. This is Mr. Corbin. He helped us out getting everything up and running tonight. And where's um, Gayla? Gayla? You want to come visit with us for a while? You have to share a microphone here, I guess, but... I <laughs> oh, here's a mic down here. Juice, but he, can, he has a hand mic he can use, I'm sure. Oh, is that... Do you, give, can you... Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I couldn't reach, but there you go. All righty. This is Miss Green, Gayla Green? Gayla Corbin. Gayla Corbin. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, professionally, it's Gayla Wilson Corbin. Okay. Okay. And you're his mom, your next mom. Uh -huh. This is this is Nick Corbin and Gayla Corbin. Hi. Gayla Wilson Corbin, you said? Okay, okay. good. <laughs> And uh, they're also producers here at TV15. And um, you're in tonight to work on some things over in the... Cool. But they're going to join us for a few minutes. And this is Brian on the phone. Usually I wouldn't pick it up, but yeah, I wasn't sure if the audio was going out a lot. So, uh, uh, and he, he, he's having a birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. So, um, but you said you're not going to really do anything? Yeah, just hang out. You don't play any games. Well, that sounds like fun. Okay. 
right? But you're not gonna be, you're not like, you don't have a big, big plan. He not only knew all the other talk to him because it would be a secret <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, do you wanna give us a call back in a minute? Because we've got audio now, so I wouldn't have to pick up the phone so everybody could hear you and we could hear the call. Would you rather be back? Okay, cool. Talk to you soon. Thanks for calling. Bye, happy birthday. Bye. 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 Oh, really? Can we... we oh, well, hello? 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 Hi. Hi. Okay, man. <laughs> Which man? This one? I don't think so. That one might have been, but I'm married to him. What's that? Okay. We're good. How are you? Hi. Told you. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello. Hi. I know. How are you? Well, we're we're you know as well as ever. No, I don't know. Thank you. Yes, we were. I'm glad we fixed it too. And I'm glad you got through. How are you? Yes. Got a battery and everything. Can you hear yourself? You can't. Okay. Okay, so he can hear himself. So it's all good. Okay, he says it's working fine. How come we don't have a good angle here? Maybe I can stand over here. No. <laughs> There we go. Hi. No, I think everyone else is just used to like staying in the back, and I end up being on the front always, and like, no, like, like. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying, don't, don't. Well, a lot of the producers like tend to use the back of the stage more. You like give yourself more real estate out front, and I'm always like I'm jump off the front for some reason. Anyway, this is what's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is our audience, so. but this is Sam, and he's been calling for uh, well, two or three years. Two, how long have we been back on? <laughs> well, you're not our biggest fan. <laughs> we have fans that are probably physically larger than you are. I would say one or two, but. I'm waiting for my gold paint pen and when I get my well I want two actually because I'm sending one to him too and he has to like send me back a copy signed because I told him I want his signature too but now I have yeah but now I have now I need to get um, your CD and your photos and Paul want Paul would like to you know check out the footage anyway and see if there's anything he can use <laughs> I hope there is, you know, so, but we're having, we're, it's just, <laughs> gold paint pen. Two gold paint pen. Write that down. He writes everything down for me. It's awesome. I used to be the one that wrote everything down, but um, I stopped bringing my notebook on the show a while back. <laughs> what do you... Hey, Sam, say hi. Yeah, he's hiding behind the desk. Sort of. Do you want to say hi? No, he is here. He thought you hung up. It's all good. You can do that one. <laughs> so, what are you up to this week? Are you done with, why is our picture, oh, 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 what's going on now? Oh, Jeff's got it. What's that? <laughs> it's all black. From in here, it's all black. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, in any case, I can still hear you. Yeah, you can still hear me. So anyway, are you guys done? What? Yeah, no picture. Yeah, I guess I'll take sound over picture. Are you, um, oh, and the background's not playing either, dude. Oh, now it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, are you, uh, are you done with basketball then, you and Andrew? Yes. Really? You had your tournaments and everything? Yeah. Your team got what? Oh, well, that's pretty good. I think. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. You're in the top half. <laughs> How did Andrew's team do? How did Andrew's team do? Oh, they didn't make what? Oh, well, you know, he got to play a bunch of varsity games this year, so at least in a bunch of varsity games. So that's cool. And then next year he'll be ninth grade. 10th grade? He'll be 10th grade next year? 11th? If he's not there, don't tell him I said that. <laughs> he's not? <laughs> What's that? You were what? He is? Yeah, well. You know, next year, next year, you'll abandon us. You know you will. <laughs> I know. You'll be like on your computer and you'll be like talking to girls and all like doing all that stuff. You'll be all like, oh, I, I can't, I can't waste my Saturday night on them. <laughs> I love you guys. You guys are awesome. I have to spend. Oh. What else do I have to do? We what? love you too, man. Yeah. Yes, that's true. We yeah. need we need people. We you got to win the lottery this weekend and like fund fund the cable access station because they're they're not gonna have money. Yeah, there's, soon. Yeah, there's there there a bill went um to the house floor this week that may stand a very good chance of sending TVC TV into some very dire financial straits and <laughs> perhaps even out of business in six months-ish. So that would be the end of everything. Yeah, we're th we're we're looking for whatever we can find yeah, to send told. their way to, yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. Everybody, like, like, you know, we just, yeah, we just, it just needs to move over to fundraising grants, that kind of thing. Yeah, he sent to things. And in the yeah. Yeah. Right. Um. Right. It's unfortunate that you have a microphone on. <laughs> it's all good. No, it's all good. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I wanted to. Every time. What was? If you had a. Yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> I am so sorry. I didn't. I didn't hear the last thing you said though. No. Except we haven't done that many shows. But I didn't. It was the thing before that that I didn't hear. Hi, Sandy Jean. Hi, dude, Mike. Dude, singing How are you? in the background. Hi. Hey, why is the background freaking out again? Okay. Yeah, the background is freaking out again. And but no, but it was the thing before that. You said something before that, and I didn't. I didn't hear. What? You said something before that that I didn't hear. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. We wouldn't allow it. No, we wouldn't allow it because that's your money. But we would definitely be willing to work with you on uh, on a network type deal, and then you know make it a veil Boise cooperative deal. We want to go out to the world, man. Where we have programming coming from all around this great region. That would be awesome. But what? Miss Corbin, <laughs> Gayla, <laughs> was saying is um, we need to make sure that the, the representatives and the senators put the um, PEG channels back into this bill so that it so that their coverage is insured. Now, re now Representative Barbieri says that he yeah, doesn't sure. believe that that PED channels are going to be left out in, fi in the financing of this. But my understanding has been that CenturyLink in other places has used this particular kind of bill to squeeze out the PED channels over time. So that's...
Sorry. And uh, they're, the Portland station's been around a long time and it's a much bigger one. And they are struggling really hard right now with some of the same issues and trying to stay alive. They've let a lot of their staff go. Willamette TV over there went dark in the last year. And 100 or more stations in just the state of California went dark in the last year or so because of these same issues. So it is a really big problem for any of us that love community television television and don't yeah. want TVC TV especially to not be here anymore but I agree well this is like the best station you know the man honestly I think of you guys as part of the TVC TV, TV family because I mean you've always been I mean you guys were working in here before we were I think I think like well before we came back on the air this last time anyway but <laughs> so to me, you're part of the, you're part of the team. Yeah, we're like you know, evil corporations. Oh no, corporations are just trying to survive like anybody else. They're just meaner about it. <laughs> What's that? Oh no, no, probably not because those are um. Uh, there were several representatives here in the station Thursday evening appearing on other shows that were being recorded that night, and every one of them stated the same thing, that it's all about greed. That's the bottom line. They can see through what CenturyLink and their lobbyists and, and all the other business entities are trying to do with this bill. But it, I was down there in that session watching all of the testimony from both sides, and what really kept striking me the whole time was how does a peg channel TV station have anything to do with getting broadband around the rest of the state of Idaho you know I don't know I don't know I don't I don't under I don't understand the logic behind what they're doing behind their thinking at all but uh, you know it, I'm not the one making the rules and I could be up in my soapbox all night so. <laughs> Well, no, no, it's all, no, I mean, we wanted to, we wanted to bring this up tonight and you were here and you, so you're very familiar with it. So I'm glad that you're here actually. And Sam is some, um, him and his family have done a lot of, a lot of, um, product, well, a few productions out of here and they, and they, um, they try to produce, promote, uh, the arts and that kind of, they do a lot of work in, in their area with, with we made, we made, like, comedy movies, yeah. <laughs> last week I played their their last year's film festival movie that they put together cool did you come down here and do the kids camps when you were younger oh, no, I know I did but I, I want to do that kind of fun fun you didn't get, I thought you did the year before we met you like the summer before we met you did you not yeah. maybe Andrew did uh, Andrew did I think Oh, Nick's been a, um, a leader in those camps during the summer here at TBC TV. He's one of the counselors. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> well, come. We need to get you like at least a handmaid. No, really. <laughs> Well, good. We've got the gaming thing. I'm gonna wrap this up, but yeah, I'm taking up some more time. Oh, I love you guys. You guys are oh, we love you too, Sam. Thanks you so much. You guys can have some again. It's so good to see some other people taking up the spotlight too. I guess. We love you, man. Yeah. Well, Keep cable access alive. Yeah. 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 It's all what? Do what to the universe? <laughs> Best station in the universe? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only because you call it every week. We love you guys. Talk to you soon. <laughs> well. Oh. 
Okay. Let me get my head together. For about a second. Hello? Hey. Hi. So, dude. So, dude. Uh, you know my picture? So, the picture that I wanted dude to draw? What? What? The man bear pig? Yeah. He drew that. You didn't see it? No. Okay, let me well, show it you. Well, should be in the notebook. Yes. I thought, he, I thought he did a pretty good job, too. It was a man bear pig eating a... What was it? Eating a what? <laughs> Wait, what were we? Oh, you, oh, you, okay, you got one. All right, so let me reintroduce our guests. This is Gayla Corbin, Wilson Corbin, with Idaho Media, what's your media showcase? That's Friday nights at seven. And this is Nick Corbin, and he's a producer, and he's heavily involved here at TVC TV, as it is Gayla. And um, you all know little dude, and Mr. Wizard is in the control room, as always. Big dude. And this is Brian, right? Lion bear. Lion bear guy. Brian? Brian, is that you? You out there? No? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so on the phone, we have Brian. Lion bear or something, meeting the pig bear man dude. Hey, che Jeff, Wait. check it. Change it to the other one, see if that works better. Oh, yeah, we don't have the floor lights on either. Can you see it? Yeah. Do you like it? Kind of out of focus, sort of. But <laughs> you know. over the night, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> and he did it in like 40 minutes. Yeah, that was a quick one, too. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't. I only have 15 good. less minutes now. But. Well, no. Okay. I mean, what? no. <laughs> Would you call yourself a professional artist? I've rarely been paid to do that. <laughs> I have actually. Yeah. What's okay, that? Yeah. Are they playing Halo right now? They are playing Halo Reach. Yeah. Yeah, Halo Reach. Oh, wow. Okay, so, um, <laughs> we have Halo Reach. So, I thought. Me and my brother did. Wait, you. Do you know the map? Or you know where the howler is? Uh huh. The howler? I don't know where the, the howler is. Howler? You know where the. Dude might know. I, mean, I don't play that. Say what? Do you know where the. Say it again. Mahala? Mahala is. Valhalla. Valhalla. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's one of my favorite maps. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah so when I used we to play. Can they she probably doesn't I don't really know, know anything exactly, about and him. he's not and on it. We took an antenna and we put it where it is work. Uh, and so we put it on the shooter thing to where it was launched. And then we put a fusion coil on top of it. Oh, cool. And then we deleted the, um, the antenna. And then to where it was blocked out and it explode. Oh, cool. And then we put a whole bunch of other fusion coils explode. So like every time it respawns, it explodes? It shoots out and then you can see it shoot out and then it falls out and it explodes. <laughs> cool. So what you do is you get um, a gun or something and then when it's in the air you kind of shoot it so you stay alive. You have to be in the middle of the shooting Oh. Awesome. Well, it sounds really cool. I really don't know anything about that game, but it sounds you, really cool. Did you build it yourself in, in Forge or is that where you were built it? Or? Cool. Little dude loves Forge. Yeah, Forge is all like his favorite thing to do. He but likes you, to recreate like scenes from other games or movies. Maybe, like. You play Halo Reach though, right? Cause didn't you ask for him to play that one time in the background? The what? Didn't you ask for him to play Halo Reach in the background once? No, it was, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was But good. you don't have it? Oh, I thought you had it. I thought that's why you wanted to play it. No, we have Halo 3. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, see, our Halo 3 Halo stopped 3. working. They worked online for a while, but I've never actually finished the single player of Halo 3. Sit on this. Yeah, so what's happening to our Xbox is we have Assassin's Creed Revelations on the Xbox. I love Assassin's Creed. It's a this cannot be read. Please clean up the soft box or something like that. And then when I do that, it just lets me play it, and it's all glitchy. Oh, that's not good. Is that the disc? Is it your discs fried, or? No, we, like, got two of the brand new games, and then they, like, they disc let error. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
Really? They were defective discs? I think Nick might have some thoughts for you on that. It looks like he's preparing himself to share. <laughs> What's that? Were there any scratches on the bus? Or on the disc? The discs weren't scratched, right? Yeah. There were scratches on the disc? Did you buy them brand new? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably... <laughs> That might have something to do with it. <laughs> Unfortunately. But, well, do you do you think any of those disc uh, repair things ever work? Have you ever found anything you I can't hear him. Yeah. Is that mic turned on? Yeah, that'll cut it. That what's turned on? His microphone. His mic? I'm not hearing him talking. It's on. Why you can't hear him? No. Nope. Was working when you were using it? Right? it? I thought it was earlier. Was it working earlier? Could you hear Gayla? Test it. I thought we could, but I don't know. Um, I thought they heard him too. Hey Nick, talk into your mic. No, I'm not. I'm not getting anything. Just a little. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Okay. You were speaking in mind part of that time. Mouse? So I can hear you no, it's iPad, so it's not that. A lot of times we don't get a chance to say the things that we would like to say in turn, like. About, uh, you know those kinds of things so it's good that you were here like everyone will listen then <laughs> all right mm -hmm. could be a bad mic but... oh he's just waiting everything's weird tonight <laughs> cool oh yeah so uh remember i said i do uh huh the white one and the black the white one uh huh one of them died. Oh no. Which one? Which one? Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. Oh, well, that's good. It looks like art box because it's pale and like all bloody like that. Cool. What color is this one? Is it black or the. Is it like. Which one? It's like. Billy's white, like his head is like gray and white. Uh huh. And his back is gray and white, and then his tail is brown and gray and white. Oh, cool. That's neat. Now, which one died? The white one. Oh, that's unfortunate. And the other one, how old is the other one? The other one? Yeah. The one that we first bought was is a year. He's a year? So, so he's actually nine months. And the one that we bought recently is here. Oh, well, so they're close in age. That's good. They can bond and, like, do all that. That's yeah. good. Well, it sounds like a really pretty dog. Have you posted pictures? Um, I have a couple pictures that I have in the dog. Oh, okay. Well, you know, when you get a chance. And she has some Oh, I like that. That's pretty. The tiger what? The tiger what? Tiger Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The dog named Coda, the black one. Uh huh. Um, he has like tiger eye, middle rock. That's what his eyes look like. Oh, that's cool. So you have a blue-eyed one and you have one with like brown, like golden brown eyes? Yeah. That's beautiful. Wow. Are they are they both male or both female or female and male or? It's female and male. Oh nice. I assume they're fixed or No. Oh. <laughs> are you intending to breed them? Yeah, we're Oh. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're looking on find a blend. Uh-huh. And then oh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Train them as working dogs. Oh right. Riding dogs. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, huskies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always nice when they can work. They actually, I think they like that better anyway. If they get a chance to work. A dog like that. Yeah. 
Like that. <laughs> well, that's cool. Awesome. What? I can't have five What's that? Well, that's good. It's good. Uh huh. Well, that's good. So he's pretty well trained. He's he's nine months old. Yeah. Well, good. That's not. He sounds like a smart dog. He's really smart. Good. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. That's enough for a couple of years. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh no. You told us that. Well, that's good. <laughs> For later, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> uh, what? Oh. <laughs> That's just cool. Yeah, but that punishes you because it comes out the other end and it's even worse. Uh, you're the ones who have to smell it. He doesn't care. He's all like, oh, I smell good. <laughs> He's all, look at the mess I left. It's awesome. And you guys are all like, oh man, we should have never fed him that roast. <laughs> yeah, sugar. Yeah. Well, dogs often do, but it's not probably that good for them, although, you know. I don't know, it might be better than dog food. Roast is better for him than dog food, that's for sure. <laughs> Candy, but a cat, a cat can't taste sweet. Did you know that? So if a cat likes, no. They don't have any sweet taste buds. And uh, a propensity to like catnip is a genetic thing. So not all cats actually like catnip either. Funny, huh? April Fool's Day? Yeah, April Fool's Day. Uh huh. What do you do? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, I thought you were going to say X Lex for chocolate. But I don't. I, <laughs> salt brownies, my friend. <laughs> Uh huh. <laughs> I'm sure it was. That'll happen. Oh, well, that is funny, Brian. Uh. Thanks for calling. I think I probably should probably try and take one or two more calls before the end of the show. But um, it's been great talking to you. And you really need to, like, hit me up on Facebook one of these days. Because I know you're on there because I know you liked one of my photos in photo contest recently. And I don't even have any photos in there hardly. <laughs> what? Well, I will send you a message then. Okay. 
I will send you a message. That way I know that you'll get it. Okay? Okay, Cool. All right. Talk to you soon. Thanks for calling. Love you, Brian. He's a good kid. Yeah, you can find it yours too, huh? When you're doing the live television show that goes over the top of the hour, are you required to get on the live channel? This is the top of the hour. It, it doesn't. It ends at 11. Right on. That clock is a little bit fast. Yeah. But yeah, so I, yeah, so there's just a little break there where where they do all their station yeah. identification stuff. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can we what do what? what? I can't understand you and you're laughing. I'm just sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> what? It's really okay. Please play Celine Dion. Did we go off the air? No, not yet. We got like. Uh, I think she asked me to play Celine Dion. I don't have any Celine Dion, and I don't yeah, think she'd let me play her because she plays in Vegas and she gets paid a lot. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> we don't have copyright. Uh, we don't have the release. We don't have releases for her. What's that, dude? We don't have the releases for her. Right. Well, I mean, if we, we, if we could get her to give us a release for nothing, that'd be awesome. But I just don't think that's going to happen because she seems like a businesswoman to me. And like, if we were in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe. That's a good point. And they very they are very supportive of their arts in Canada. Oh, that one's not working, is it? Wait, this one is. One of them's not working. Wait, do we not have one on the phone right now? That one? Oh. All right. Because this one apparently wasn't working on the phone. Anyway, I expect we're going to be out here in a minute or two or less. I don't know, but it's been great talking to you tonight, Boise. Sorry for all the confusion and the technical difficulties and all the stuff like that. And um, it's been great having our guests here, Mr. Nick Corbin and Miss Gayla Wilson Corbin. <laughs> From Idaho Media Showcase, which is on Friday Friday nights at seven, okay, and uh, so check her out too. And um, she's been giving us all the lowdown on the PEG channels. What's that? I'm a producer on a program, but I don't host it. Did I say host? Oh, I'm I. Oh, but anyway, our host is Lance Thompson. Oh, okay, with Lance Thompson, that will, Idaho Media Showcase with Lance Lance Thompson. Gayla is a producer on that, and um. Do you have anything you'd like to say about the PEG, the whole situation? Just recap real quick. Maybe if we can get it under the wire. Jeff, is this mic working? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was off here. The bill that involves the keg channels was passed in the Idaho Business Committee earlier this week with the two pass to go to the House floor. Now that does not mean yet that it's going to become a bill, but it's got a lot of support from business, all kinds of different business organizations. CenturyLink, of course, is the one that's pushing it. This is the fourth year they've been in the legislature right. pushing this bill other as a like quest before they bought it. Right. But um so the big thing is hopefully we can convince them to keep the peg money in the bill in order that TV stations like Treasure Valley TV television, there's one in Coeur d'Alene, there's one in Pocatello, right. they're all utilizing the peg keys. Right. And whether or not we might be able to eventually get a hold of some of the franchise to get the city effects from the one in our area. Right. So there's still a ways to go for it to become a law, but it's looking pretty good by their chances on the it because it has so much you know, yeah. behind them. And we're not giving up. We're the people. Right. So the people still have a voice in this country. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's been great. Oh, oh no, it's all good. It's it's that's pretty that's pretty common around here. 
And the only thing is, if you do want to come on Saturdays, it's, it would really be nice if we could have, like, if we if you were here before, like, before we oh, start. Oh, well, we didn't know you were just going to yeah, do this. Yeah, we came, came, we came in to program. Oh. Yeah. We didn't come in to be on the program. <laughs> <laughs> we invited us, so no, we no, came no. on board, but yeah, we no, no, actually no. were meant to be down the hall. We didn't know yeah, we I just, didn't intrude on your space and time. Okay. You know, I didn't mind that. I didn't, I didn't mind at all. I just, it's just, it's easier for us if, I mean, I'm just saying oh, yeah, if you would like to come back. Oh, no. I was teasing you. I was teasing you. Yeah. I spend an awful lot of time around here, and I have a lot of work to do at home. It's just that we're kind of on a deadline. You know, right. We to get these promos done as, as um, drop-ins. Yeah. Shows. Because there's a big film screening for our area this coming Wednesday night. And being that we tape our show ahead of time sometimes, there's events that come up like this kind of the last minute. We can't cover in our show because right. we already recorded an episode. And our next episode doesn't air until after the event. Right. So we came in, Nick and I just make a couple of drop-ins talking about that. So that well, we at least know it's going to be happening. Yeah, I mean, it seems like... Just I don't know. A lot of the producers around here seem to do that. Seem to like uh, make sure that they bring everything in as as much from the community as we possibly can. And I, you know, I'm always glad to see that because that helps the rest of the community care what happens to TVC TV. You know, it's very dedicated of you to be here. There was quite a few people down at the state house in support of TVC TV and producers and other people that just you know know about it Try to get support. Yeah. Quite a few people would sign up to testify, but the meeting opened uh, over two hours late, so mm-hmm. some of them had the meeting. But right. At least they had their names no. that they'd been there to testify. Yeah. Good. So, well, then if you if you ever see us, I mean, it's probably because we're going to the other end of the building. Generally, <laughs> no. generally, we wouldn't be here, and when we schedule the tape, you know, it'd be a different time to tape. So we'd never yeah. be in here and here. Because this is your yeah. side. No, I know, but I'm just and saying, if you did ever want to come back, it would just, you know. <laughs> if you did ever want to come back, you would be welcome. That's so. <laughs> I appreciate that. You know. But Nick and I made an observation, and maybe you've heard this before, since I don't really know you and Dude. Um, the students, and have you ever been told how much he looks yeah. like Darren? Darren Burroughs, the actor? No. Nick and I both come in, because I've never really seen you as a person. <laughs> Nick, of course, has, but in the meantime, this past summer, Nick and I worked on a short film that was made in this area wow. starring Darren Burroughs. They brought him in from Hollywood. Uh-huh. He used to star in the TV show Nerve Exposure. Which you ever seen? Oh, yeah. Well, the one that played Ed, the young Okay. And I don't know if it reflects him on his character and on TV looking like him, but Nick and I saw him enough off camera, in person, just talking with us, is where we see the resemblance between him and Dude. Oh, he, you were talking about Big Dude, because I thought you were talking about Little Dude for a minute, and I was like, well... sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good. Big Dude. <laughs> oh, cool. Big Dude. Well, I did not, I did not, I have never put that together, but well, it wouldn't surprise me, because... I don't know if seeing the character and the actor on screen... Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Nick and I talking with Darren in between takes when he was himself. Yeah. The <laughs> resemblance is much more there with Big Dude. Oh. Well, cool. We'll have to, like, look him up. Yeah. Apparently, you look a lot like um, Darren Burroughs. He was on um, Northern Exposure, and they worked with him last summer. Oh, yeah? On a short film. Yes. Independent. It's just now coming out. Um, it's called The Telltale Heart. Really? And, yeah, it is. From that story. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Oh, that's cool. Um, The producer and the writer of it have an extensive acting background, especially in England and here in the United States as well. You're so much younger than me. You may not be able to do it all. all, um, Gosh, my mind just blanked out. I'm so sorry. He's 41. I'm 41. (laughs) I'm I'm late. With my surgeries this past year, my memory's gotten kind of funky. Oh. Um, Sorry. The actress's name is Jane Girl. She was nominated for Golden Globe for a huge film that came out in the late 50s or 60s. 
Sorry, Catherine Tucker and his chemo tool. And Jane was third Jane was third on the building. It's the language. Oh, okay. I don't think I've seen it, but. Oh, yeah. Cool. Buddy. Jane Burroughs? Jane Burroughs. Mayor. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. And then she spends the week after you're doing it, and she's heard this series of short films all oh. called Chilling Tales, I think it is. Oh. And the first two years of the year was the Oh. Uh huh. And then we did the Hilltop part here, so now they're working on getting the next one done. And this one they're in like 10 minutes after the film. They have the website Chilling Tales. Oh. They're having. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, websites, mm -hmm. and they don't have to get distributors for the Right. Nice. Yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to. No, it's all good. I don't mean to. It's usually me. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's.